Pokemon is the world's highest grossing franchise with one of the best selling games. So of course there are a thousand of Pokemon games in Scratch and in this video I'll be going over a few of them. So our first game is called Pokemon Black and White Battle Engine. Cool, my first game was Pokemon White. So this is all the way from 2014. Let's run it. And we start off with this cutscene and we are battling Zekrob. And we sent out Charizard, such an unpopular choice. Charizard deserves more love. Because Zekrom's terrible. Our moves are Mel Claw, Blast Burn, Fire Blast. Got 10 Pokeballs, so cool we can catch Zekrom. And also potions. Okay, let's try your Pokeball. Let's try to catch it on the first turn. Come on, Zekrom. Get in the ball. No, okay. So Zekrom goes for an attack and Zekrom uses Fusion Ball, I think. So one fact that I love in these games are the platforms, they kind of move like in the games. Let's go for Blast Burn here. There we hit the Blast Burn. So looks like the damage calculation isn't real, it's just a random damage calculation. Yeah, if not, if not Charizard is dead for a ball strike of Zekrom. And we don't have a recharge turn of Blast Burn, okay. This is not like the real game, but okay, let's go for a potion. That's a lot for a potion. Let's try to catch it. Come on. Two shakes. Oh, okay. I thought we caught it. So I think Charizard faints here. Oh, barely. Just barely. So we could just throw another Pokeball. So let's just hope Zekrom gets in the ball. So Rip Chow is off. You deserve rest. So our Chow is off faints. Do we have any Pokemon? Nope. The Chow is off faint. Okay. I like this game. I beat the boss first try. Okay, cool. OMG, I caught the Zekrom first turn. It took me six to try. Wow, that's that's a great achievement. I created my own version, Gyarados vs Giratina. Okay, let's check it out. So, okay, we got Pokemon Platinum vs Giratina. Uh, we got this cutscene, uh, we got Giratina with Nate. Okay, I'm sure Nate was not in Platinum. Oh, and oh, that Giratina is struggling and we sent out an invisible Gyarados with Melkor, Water Splash. Oh my god, that's, that's the sickest move. And Dragon Dance. I mean, we should go for Water Splash, right? Oh, oh, look at that sick animation. Oh, awesome. So I think Gyarados is invisible because we are in the distortion world. And yes, Giratina attacks us. So Gyarados is just invisible because of distortion world. Uh, let's just Dragon Dance up. And oh, Dragon Dance attacks Giratina, so it's different here. So let's do a Pokeball. It's on the red this time. Unshake. It doesn't get in the ball. Oh, that that's a sick animation, kind of. I think that's Shadow Force. I think that's Shadow Force. <laughs> so our next game is called Vaporeon Pokemon Virtual Pen. The best Pokemon for a virtual pet game, and we get this mouse trail effect. Report your art is cool. What should my name be? So, Report your hunger is on 2, tired is 0, happiness is 0. Can we feed it a berry? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, that's cool. Report your will sleep, and our tired is on minus 1. That's cool. Our hunger is on minus 25. Cool. We could also play. So this is a mini game. So this is like the Pokemon feature in Pokemon X and Y, if anyone remembers that. So yeah, playing would increase our happiness. Let's go to swim. Cool, we could also pet it. This guy asked the most important question. Vaporeon is a boy or a girl? Those who don't know. Those who know. Yep, that's true. So next we got what evolution are you? Okay, what is your favorite color? Coast dark blue. Oh my god, will he get Vaporeon if he said dark blue? Let's just go with it. Where do you want to live? In a Wonderland rainbow candy house. Let's just go with it. 
What do you like to do? Reading and learning, I guess. What is your favorite food slash drink? I like cold and frozen foods. A bully is bullying your best friend. What will you do? Watch the fight, of course. How will your friends describe you? Of course, it's smart and special. We have the smart minds here. And choose an emoji. Let's just go with the moon. And you are Umbreon. Okay, that's cool. I like Umbreon. You are a little lonely sometimes. Quiet, determined and loyal. Maybe you don't have that many friends, but the ones you have are everything for you. You like to be alone occasionally, but you're always happy for company. So, this is kind of true. So, I'm giving this a hard enough fail. Really good. Really, really good. So our next game is Whack a Diglett. Okay. So that's a sick thumbnail. And we got Diglets. Okay. Oh, and we could smash them. So press space to change hammer. Oh, okay. That's sick. Just smashing Diglets. And the sound effect when Diglett comes out, that's just ridiculous, man. So the Diglets are kind of slow. And when we smash a Duck Trio, it's count as three Diglets. Which is technically true. So the detection is not that good, so it's not detecting that I'm smashing when I'm clearly smashing this guy. And the time is kind of slow, like these diglets like stay forever, so you could make it more fast. And try adding a timer so this would be a game. Oh, we got the Tinker Tong Hammer. Let's go Tinker Tong. So our next game is Pokemon Fly, and looks like it's another original concept. So just click this, and we got different Pokemons. Okay, so how do we close this? Oh, <laughs> license by Game Frack. Who? Uh, let's play. Coin winner. Oh, not available. So let's play Skull Flight. That loading thing is really cool. So this is basically a dodging game, but a Pokemon version. And I already lost half of my health. Whoa, the Woobats are fast. So can we just stay here forever and never get hit? Oh, very, very hit us. Move back hits us. So I would like left and right controls too, but unfortunately you don't have that. Just the up and down. Oh, we lost. And the Pokemons are still flying, so our score is 214 and the world is also 214. Okay, let's go back to the lobby and the game start. Okay, so how do you unlock those kings? Project. So it's a Minecraft figure, we don't care about that, we just came here for the codes. And we got Wiper World, okay. We got Charizard, man. Charizard's so unpopular. One Pokemon missing, we got Noivern. I need to go with Charizard, so unpopular. So we got Charizard. Oh, we also got the shop, I didn't notice that. We could buy Mew, and we need 20,000, but I have no way of increasing my money. So Charizard is kind of big here. Yes, we already lost. Okay, Charizard's still there. So our next game is Pokemon Clicker. Of course, we got a Clicker. And it's a Pokeball clicker, so not a Pokemon clicker. So we got stats, volume, shop. We could buy different Pokeballs. So I think that's a netball. Why is a netball that much expensive? Oh, we also got Pokemon. And an egg, you need to click 100 times to open an egg. So okay, that's cool. So let's click 100 times. You caught a Pokemon, go to shop to use it. So... So okay, let's hatch the egg. So what would we get? Please be good. Come on, and the Pokemon is Gardevoir. Okay, Gardevoir is my second favorite Pokemon. That's cool, getting Gardevoir on the first try. That's awesome. So I think that's 150 for our first Pokeball. I have no idea what this is. Let's go with it. We are ending with Ninkeda. So our next game is called Pokemon Tournament 3. Okay, we got this tile screen. So let's go with a quick match. Choose your Pokemon, okay. And just the Kanto Pokemon. Why do you have Growler without Arcanine? So I'm going with the obvious best Pokemon, Jinx and Electrode. Got Jinx and Electrode. So this is a two player game. Oh, we got a question mark there. Oh, look at Jinx go. Oh, look at Electrode go. Electrode is rolling, that's sick. So okay, Jinx shoots ice from his mouth. Cool. More ice. Jinx kisses. Okay. So what does Electro do? I'm sure it explodes. It explodes. Throws out electrical balls. And I have no idea what that is. And Jinx wins. 
or look at Jinx winning animation. Now for our final game, the god of all Pokemon games in Scratch, Pokemon Battle version 4.2 by I Am Feeling Itchy. Cool, it was published just a day before my birthday and let's play this game. First we'll get this start screen where you can select a team of 6 Pokemon to battle and when selecting it, it will display the type, stats, ability, moveset, item, nature, EV and even IVs. For those who don't know, this is all competitive stuff which you won't need on a normal playthrough but if you're playing competitive Pokemon, all of these are really important. And if you're not satisfied with the Pokemons you got, you can always restart the game, it wouldn't affect your progress at all. Okay, let's just select 6 Pokemons. Think this is okay. And this is where the fun begins. First, you can battle two trainers, Carson, which his team would be random, and then Danny, a full hack mobile where all the abilities, items, movesets get swapped. And the next few trainers are gimmick trainers, where you can battle trainers which uses gimmicks like baton pass, metronome spam, and the choice items. And the next 18 trainers are basically kind of like gym leaders. Each one of these trainers are specialized in each type. First of all, you need to unlock the first few trainers to unlock the gym leader kind of trainers. And once you defeat all of those gym leaders, you can battle 4 extremely hard trainers. Kind of like the elite 4 of this game. And then of course, finally the champion. So for now, let's just battle Carson to show the power of this game. So first of all, we got this cutscene which uses this text buff. I like it. We sent out Rapidash and Carson sent out Charizard. So let's click fight and we got 4 attacks. Let's go with Wild Charge because it's super effective. And as you can see, Charizard is mega evolving. Yes, mega evolution is working in this game. And we got Charizard's Drought which sets up Sun. Yes, abilities work in this game. And then it used Focus Blast and that's doing a lot and of course that's a crit. And yeah, crits work too and everything in this game works just like a normal Pokemon battle which is easier said than done. Every move, even status moves like Toxic and Lacy also work in this game. Like everything works perfectly fine, no errors, everything you would expect from a recreation. This is just mind blowing. I love this game so much that I defeated all 35 opponents in this game and I posted that on my community and sure nobody of you care. But yeah, here's some screenshot and spoilers, there are legendaries and of course megas and this game is so so sick. But you might have noticed that there aren't any attack animation and that is because the size limit of scratch. So there's an itch.io link where you can play this game with all the battle animations. And I recommend playing that version because it's so much better. And don't worry, there's also an offline edition where you can download and play. And also you can access the source code using this link. Coding such a massive project is not at all easy in Scratch. So all the games that I showcased in this video, links are in the description below so you can play those games as well. And that's it for this video and if you like this video, make sure to check this video out where I go over some useful hacks that you can use in Scratch. And yeah, see you in the next one.